Did you know that 50% of dogs over the age of 10 get cancer? Hi, I'm Dr. Sandra Nguyen, one of the oncologists here at SASH. Even if your dog isn't 10, cancer doesn't discriminate, and early detection is vital at giving your dog the best chance at survival. Right now, here, in less than five minutes, I'd like to share with you the 10 early warning signs that might save your dog's life. To check for lumps and bumps on your pet's skin, even just while you're sitting down on the couch watching TV, just run your hands all over their body. It's important to get to all the places underneath their neck and also underneath their arms and legs because the lumps and bumps can really pop up anywhere. Unfortunately, just by touching the lump, you can't really tell what it is. And so it's important to get it tested by your vet. Lumps can form on any part of your dog's body, including between their toes. So it's great if you could actually train them to tolerate touching between their toes. If there's an abnormal odour coming from your dog's ears or their mouth, it can be an early warning sign. They may just need a dental or have an ear infection, but tumours in the mouth can actually result in a pretty bad smell too. Persistent non-healing wounds or sores can be a sign that your dog's immune system isn't functioning properly or they're busy combating an infection somewhere else. Cancers can also look like non-healing wounds and sores. Loss of appetite or sudden and rapid weight loss is also a sign that something isn't quite right with your dog. Sometimes this can relate to dental disease or other medical issues, and sometimes this can be an indicator of something more serious, particularly if it's out of character for your pet and combined with other warning signs of cancer. If your dog has had a persistent cough for longer than a couple of days or has started to display some breathing difficulties, this can indicate something more serious that needs to be investigated. Dogs don't really get colds and coughs like humans do, so this is definitely something to watch out for. Increased drinking or urinating can be a sign of certain types of cancers, as well as other metabolic issues. So if your pet has started going outside at night multiple times, it's time to get this checked out. If your dog is having difficulty swallowing, this can be a sign of some neck and throat cancers. So this is definitely something you need to be paying attention to. If your dog is displaying trouble when urinating or struggling and straining to defecate, this can be a sign of infection or cancer. Some cancers, in particular bone cancer, can show itself in your pet through pain and discomfort, like limping and lameness. If your dog is showing reluctance to perform physical acts that they were doing before, it's time for a checkup. Arthritis is really common in older dogs too, and there are ways to treat that so they're much more comfortable. If your dog is lethargic and isn't showing enthusiasm for their usual activities, it's time to get them checked. Lower energy levels can be a sign of many different diseases in older pets, most of which can be treated now, like heart disease and cancer. SASH or your local vet will be able to conduct a more thorough assessment to give you clarity about what's going on with your pet. Today, cancer treatments have advanced substantially. Your options include surgery, radiation therapy and chemotherapy in advanced facilities such as here at the SASH Cancer Centre. Please get in touch with SASH or your local vet if your dog is showing any of these signs.